Hi again, I'm Pierre. Welcome to the garage. Uh, just a day, uh, few minutes ago in the mailbox, I got uh, Harold uh, stickers. Yeah, amateur redneck workshop. So Harold does some pretty uh, pretty cool things on his channel. I uh, invite you to go and see. And I wish Harold just you know that cannon just uh, pack it up and make a bigger kaboom. I'm eager to see that. You were also wondering, you know, about the second sticker, you know, uh, was it presumptuous of uh, Philip, you know, was he going to want it or not? Uh, he wanted it. Thanks, Harold. So, uh, if you have a chance, go see Harold's channel. Now, concerning the main part of the uh, video today, we're going to be uh, demonstrating uh, how accurate the uh, DRO on the uh, milling machine can be. I got this block here, and sometimes you know we need to me measure some heights or steps, and being pretty accurate. And also, we don't really want to dismount the part, or uh, you know, we're not always in the position to um, insert like uh, micrometers or any measuring uh, instruments on the uh, on the machine, and uh, making you know accurate, you know, very accurate measurements. Uh, we'll be measuring this corner there, and uh, using the DRO and uh, indicator and we see and we compare that to a few other methods of measurement and see how accurate we can get and how consistent the measurement can be uh, no further process let's go to uh, the main core we're going to try to see how precise um, milling machine the arrow can be you know and uh, say measuring height or something you're uh, you're in need of some of something you know that can uh, do very good measurements and see how uh, how we can go about it. I'm going to uh, take a reference on this parallel there. I could have used a little wider parallel, but this is only a one eighth of an inch parallel. So, but that will that will do it. <coughs> I will use uh, one tenth of an inch indi indicator and see how high this part is. And no dings on it. <laughs> Everything shows. Let's zero this. I'm going to be zeroing the uh, the dial there. Let's see how accurate I can get this. I'm not having a super view, but I'd say we're pretty on it. Okay, now I'm going to zero the DRO. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the arrow is zeroed, and I'm going down to the uh, top of the part now. And get back up till we get zero on this. I think we're pretty close from uh, what we should be getting, yeah? And uh, without moving the uh, setup, let's go see what the DRO says. Check the Z axis, the last one on the bottom, 1824.65. And let's go check the other methods of getting uh, accurate results on this. Now that we got our part from the measured from the DRO, uh, we're going to be using a few different methods to uh, cross-check what we got, the, you know, the reading we got. Uh, we got this reading on the, on the machine, 1 inch, 824, and let's see, we'll kind of complete because the last digit here is not very significant. So we'll just round it up to the higher decimal, like 0.7, 7 tenths. So, that's what we're going to be using. In order to achieve uh, precise measurements, we need precise references. Uh, I'll be using in inches. Uh, I'll be using some uh, gauge block sets. Uh, I know it's been uh, you know taught by a few a few people and you know a few uh, a few competent people. But let's go for a little recap again how to uh, set up a set you know a, a gauge blocks without too much uh, fussing around. 
first thing we go we start with this in there because there are not that many blocks that has this here there's only one block in the whole set that has this uh, 7 tenths and that's uh, this one it's 100,000 100, and 7 tenths so that's the first one we get once we got this one we subtract this uh, block from the total we get 1 inch 724 uh, what else got a 4 in there uh, 124 has got the, 20, the, 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 uh, the 24 in there so that's what we'll be using here so we subtract 124 we're 1 inch 600 now that's a pretty easy uh, step to go we got 600 thousands and we got an inch as a last uh, as a last number uh, easy operation to do with this now is a ring him up uh, usually you know a bit of a body uh, body grease will do the job on the side like this oops side like this I put a little bit of pressure slide them on and it rings solid uh, next one same thing and there ring it it's wrong and holding just the last one and oops this one here too there we go you know this stack is solid in order to make uh, accurate measurements uh, we need accurate and uh, sturdy setup for uh, you know the uh, measuring setup so I'm gonna be using this uh, Starrett granite plate with the uh, arm set up and uh, this pole there this pole uh, is uh, one and a half inch and uh, I think it's 38 millimeters in the in metric system uh, this dial indicator there is a mititoyo it's one ten thousandth of an inch per uh, per step there uh, <coughs> this particular one will go uh, will have a half inch range which uh, is not as uh, as usual to find on the on the market and it's practical in certain situations I will prefer this setup to the mainly use the height gauge you know longer arm and the comparator dial there which is not bad for most measurements but this is number one choice as rigidity and re repeatability will uh, will be much better on this setup okay everything has to be clean Fill with your hands, usually the best methods. Hands there too. Sliding on. And we got our gauge blocks. With the measured height. And let's see how uh, how we did with the uh, with the uh, milling machine and the DRO. So let's uh, Okay, maybe a little bit of adjustment there. We're close. I kind of preset it a little bit to, uh, so you didn't have to fool around with me on this. Okay, now we're zeroing on the, let's say the reference we want to use, which is gauge blocks, which are usually pretty good reference. And let's move to the, uh, the part. And we're with, oh, I'd say, uh, really close from half a tent. Oh, maybe half a tent or closer, but that's pretty close. So we can rely on this being this measurement there. Now, next method to measure this will be a depth gauge. First, we got to calibrate the depth gauge. Um, I'm going to be using a depth gauge that goes from uh, one to two inches. So you need to make sure that this part here is actually one inch. And the more precise you get your reference, the more precise you will get your uh, measurements after. So I got two one-inch gauge blocks, and apply a little bit of pressure on there. 
firmly firmly applied just make sure everything sets up good and bring the uh, little pin down and make sure we're calibrated and from here I'm not really in the axis of the camera but I think we're calibrating with uh, I would say a tenth or something and I'm not gonna bother playing with the little screws in the handle on this okay let's go back to um, see how about uh, we measure this okay. now we're gonna go use our stack we made before with the part and let's uh, let's go and do some measuring now gonna bring this uh, closer to the end okay that shouldn't be too far And let's just when you feel it's touching, that's time to stop. If you start cranking on this, you're gonna get the uh, the whole apparel just going up. And it's easy because it's 40 threads per inch, and you can uh, you can have pretty much strain on this. So you use this. As soon as it touches, you stop playing around with it, and I'll be seeing it at the same time as you do which is 124 let's say we don't have a vernier scale on this so we're 124 and maybe like you know five tenths or six tenths which is one or two tenths difference between uh, what we measured so far and you know very accurate uh, reading devices so that's another way of uh, checking uh, accurately Okay, one last method to, uh, you know, cross-check again. I'm going to be using my Mitutoyo uh, micrometer, calibrated to zero. And we're going to make a direct measurement of the part directly on that corner. Let's go. And... let's see I think we're pretty close from uh, what we're already getting like uh, it's already one inch I didn't I didn't put the uh, the origin in there so I should have put like one inch but it's uh, one inch plus 824 hundred and seven tenths which these methods are can be considered like pretty uh, I think this is this can be considered like pretty exact as a uh, measuring methods like they all pretty much cross check together. Uh, <laughs> I guess everyone knows this and I guess everyone uses this. Let's try to uh, see how accurate this can be. Okay, we're getting It's not as consistent though, but we're getting like uh, 100, 824, I think that's about uh, as close as we'll get to uh, exact measurement. Not bad. Uh, half a thousand, like uh, accuracy. And it's not, like, it's not as consistent as the other one. So, but, you know, close enough for close enough. How about this one? <laughs> yeah, I know. Stupid again.